Okay, so I've decided I'm going to have a wee go at uh, doing a, a video, a fly tying video, um, basically because um, I get asked quite regularly, um, working in the shop and stuff, um, how we tie these things. A lot of people, um, there's plenty obviously on YouTube, but um, you know, this is a, a, a particular pattern that I like, particularly at this time of year, um, piker in round about the roach, roach fry and stuff so this fly works really well at this time of year ok so hook you're using is a Partridge Universal Predator Jig 60 uh, and this one is actually a 7.0 in size so a fair old hook and lends itself well to these kind of patterns swimming upside down you can bump over structure and stuff um, already threaded on a 0.4 gram large pike cone. The thread I'm using is uh, UTC Ultra 140. Um, I usually use a gel spun thread, but for this one, um, grip um, on the hook, particularly as we get round to the bends, more important than power. So uh, strength, sorry. So I'm going to use this uh, for this particular fly. I like to. Uh, add a bit of wax as well to give us a bit of grip. First thing I'm going to do is uh, pop a little bit of glue on the hook shank. Then uh, on we go with the thread. Take the thread right back to the bend. Doesn't need to be in touch and turns. Um, the main ingredient obviously for this fly is silver flashaboo and this, I've taken a full length um, off the hank and I'm going to actually before I tie it in just going to tease it out try and taper it a wee bit before we tie it in I used to attack these with taperizing scissors, but you'd end up with a big pile of flashy boo on the, on the carpet that costs a fortune. So pre-taper it before we tie it in. Sometimes it helps if you just kind of wet this a wee bit, makes it more manageable. So I'm going to catch this in about two thirds of the way along the material on top of the hook. Just one, two, three. 10 turns or so forward as I say keep this stuff wet it kind of behaves itself then I'm going to take the thread back to the tie-in point and double this stuff back now you can't really use a push tool here because we've got the uh, the bend in the hook so you just need to tease it back with damp fingers and then I like to just bind that down for extra security. This the, the mobility of the flashy boo is great, obviously as a fishing fly, but the pike will chew it up a bit, so I put plenty of material in and a wee bit of glue on that. Now you can add some lateral flash, different colours or whatever, it's up to yourself. Um, I've got to put a bit more in at the, the head of this fly, so I'm just going to leave that plain silver. Next thing I'm going to do is again, I'm taking a full length off the hank. This time I'm going to double it. And then cut it in two. Put that piece down, because we're going to use it later. And again, just tease it out with your fingers, taper it a wee bit. If you find it's all kind of um, tangling on itself, just use a comb just to straighten the fibres out. Now I'm actually going to tie this in just in front of that bump and halfway along this section. So I've got a bit of a taper happening here. So support it with your fingers and the hook jank at the same time. Take loose turns round so that the flashy boo is distributed evenly around and then 
again, wet your fingers and tease everything back, making sure it's around the bottom of the hook as well as on the top of the hook. And then catch it down. You could put a thread down in front of this, but I like to actually go back on the material uh, for the tail section, just as I say, for security. Come back down. If you've caught down any flashy boot fibres, just go in with your scissors rather than pull it. And that way it doesn't all kind of pigtail, it just comes out nice and straight. Then we're going to catch in a bit of uh, hackle flash. Colours up to you, this one's a UV pearl I think. Catch it in at the bump and then take your thread, winding down. Again the thread's going to provide the, some grip for the hackle flash. This time we're going to take it right down to the bend just before the bend starts and then come back about 5mm or so you can put a half hitch there if you want that just helps your uh, thread behave itself a tiny little bit more glue then just going to grip the end of this with uh, Echo pliers and then wind forward. Just, just stroke the fibres back as as, as usual um, when you're winding this forward. So say there's there's not a huge amount of material in this fly, so it does uh, it is easily castable. The only way you've got really is the hook and and the the bead. Uh, sorry, the cone, but the cone's obviously going to give it help with that jigging action and inverting the the fly. Right, so to get right back up to the point you stopped, and then tie it down. Snip that off. Again, wetting the fingers. I'm just going to stroke that back. So you've got about kind of five to eight mil worth of space here, and we're going to put in another collar. Um, now the you go back to the other half of the material that you that you used earlier, and again in a similar fashion. What I've done actually is I've got another bit that I've mixed in some holographic brown and some copper and some other bits and pieces um, just taper it, use your comb to, to mix it together like you see it's a nice kind of mix there and again we're going to tie that in at the halfway point just going to catch a couple of loose-ish turns at the front and then using finger and thumb just tease it all the way around in a few securing turns again we don't have a push tool here to use so just use your fingers make sure it's spread right end wet your fingers when you're happy with it sweep it all back and then some turns in front get your little hair clip and that will help that behave out of the way and really kind of tie it down a couple of half, half hitches in there snip away your thread and get some gel glue little blob on the top little blob underneath and push the cone back up onto the flash we just 
hold it there a second let it adhere to it a bit now as you can see this has actually got quite a wide diameter hole at the front so you can either put a bit of UV resin or something on there if you want to help hold it or you can uh, wind a bit of a thread dam in front um, this is a Globrite floss just, so I'm just going to attach that in front snap it off and just a few turns, this is just obviously going to help reduce the chances of that cone wanting to slip back down so half a dozen turns or so then just one two three four up finish and I'm going to put on a little bit of UV resin You can obviously add the lies or whatever onto this if you want. I don't bother with my sparklers actually, I don't find it makes too big a difference. You're happy that that's evenly round, just come in with your torch and cure it. That's you pretty much done. So, really quick, easy pattern. Uh, Lends itself, as I say, really well at this time of year. Um, if you want, you could put bucktail support and collars in behind that to give it much more of a flare. Um, but I've found when you're out and you're really pulling this stuff, it uh, works really well. You could use different coloured flash at the front as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed that.